This video contains images that may offend the sensibilities of some viewers. Not recommended for people easily impressionable, during the reign of Adolf Hitler. A lot of doctors were called to the extermination camps, like Auschwitz. The reason was pretty clear, they thought, they were near to find a way to unlock secrets of genetic engineering. But, from people outside it seems they were only there to kill comp inmates in the most cruel, possible. From 1940 until 1943 Herta Oberhuser, was a physician at the Auschwitz and Ravensbrück concentration camps. She worked under supervision of Dr. Karl Gebhardt, participating in heinous medical experiments. She thought that Joseph Mengele was unique in the genre, and, after some times, she became notorious for experimenting on healthy children with oil and evipan injections, then removed their limbs and vital organs. The time from injection to the death was between 3 to 5 minutes with the patient fully conscious until the last breath. She was different from other doctors, she usually used hat lamps to boil her victim's skins at temperature above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. She also focused on inflicting wounds that were similar to the German soldiers, got while fighting in battle. She then rubbed objects such as wood, rusty nails sliver of glass and sawdust into the wounds. After World War II on October 1946, Herta was in the Nuremberg medical trial. She was the only female defendant. The trial lasted until August of 1947. Twenty-three German physicians and scientists were accused of performing vile and potentially lethal medical experiments in concentration camp inmates and other living human subjects between 1933 and 1945. Fifteen defendants were found guilty, eight were acquitted. Of the fifteen, seven were given the death penalty and eight imprisoned. Hertha was sentenced to twenty years in prison, it was later reduced to ten years in Gaul. After being released, she became a family doctor. Surprisingly, she tried to help people, instead of making them suffer, gaining more and more respect. In 1956, she lost her position after a Ravensbrück survivor recognized her. In 1958 her license to practice was revoked. Later was restored in 1961 although she was no longer able to exercise. In 1965 she left Stocksy and moved in the government district of Bad Hunev. 1968 at the age of 66, she died in a home for the elderly in Linz am Rhein.